we have now officially gotten the world's first reasoning AI full stack developer. Allow me to introduce DataButton. We have seen DataButton multiple times on this channel, but just this week, they have officially launched a new upgrade called the version 2 release. And essentially, this is a new update to the framework where the AI agent's architecture uses reasoning to learn, plan, and execute complex tasks with precision. For the people who do not know what DataButton is, it's a personal AI developer that can easily code out a full stack application for you. And now, you can easily team up with the world's first reasoning AI developer without any sort of code to build out a full stack application with DataButton. And today, what we're going to be doing is using the reasoning capabilities as well as the new updates where you can connect authentication as well as databases within DataButton to create a full stack application. So with that thought, I want you guys to head over to databutton.com, which is a link that I'll leave in the description below and go ahead and click on get started to create an account for free. Then what we're going to do is click on new app. And essentially this is where you can work alongside DataButton to describe what you want to create. What I'm going to be creating is a freelance website where people can use this marketplace app that I create that matches businesses with the best freelancers based off of their skill and availability. So we have provided the specification of what we want. So we're going to go ahead and click on continue. Next, you can upload documents about your application, whether that's requirements, designs, references, or quotes. And essentially what I'm going to do is provide a UX design for my app. And essentially this is where DataBudden could deploy the AI agents to mimic something similar to like this design that I upload as well as providing a couple of requirements I want for the application. So I'm going to go ahead and provide that so that it could work alongside what I had uploaded. So for my case, I'm going to be providing the requirements for my app. This is where I want to have the design reference implemented within the requirements as well as providing different sorts of specifications that I want to see in my application like the job categories and something else i am also providing is the ux design for the marketplace as well as the home page so let's go ahead and feed this into our data button helper so i have now provided the requirements so let's click on continue and what you can also do is you can share your design inspiration so in this case i can go back and also provide the same images that i had provided previously in this step then you can go ahead and what you can now do is set up authentication as well as your database. You also have the ability to connect different payment providers like Stripe as well as setting up a storage. So in this case, DataButton with the help of the reasoning model can set up almost everything. And these are new upgrades that we haven't seen previously, which is why I really wanted to make another video on this because you can easily set up an authentication system with the login system with Firebase a database so that you can store and track different accounts as well as setting up a payment provider so i'm going to go ahead and set up something with firebase authentication and i'll showcase how easy it is we're going to select this we're going to select the database for uh, to be uh, firestone and then we're also going to have it so that the storage will be with firebase so once we have set all of this up we're going to go ahead and click on let's start so it looks like now it's going to work on creating our freelance website. So on the right hand side, you can see that the agent is working on all of these different steps. We have eight steps. One is to create the modern landing page with the key marketplace features, set up the Firebase authentication and user profiles, build a job listing creation and management for business, develop a job browsing and search functionality, create freelancer profile and a portfolio system, implement a job application and a messaging system, adding ratings as well as a review system for completed jobs, and then lastly, create a dashboard view for both user types. So now we're gonna work alongside DataButton to help us build this. So right now it is asking us, would you like me to start working with the first, uh, it was the first prompt to do. So this first task, we're gonna go ahead and click yes. So this is a really great thing with DataButton where you can work alongside it to keep on configuring and working on it. So we can see right now it is going to now fully go ahead and code out the front end. So it's going to start implementing the landing page based on the provided design inspiration. And you can see all of the different things that are being done in the back end. 
And since this is a reasoning agent, it's going to thoroughly plan out what sort of steps are taken to fully develop this front end. So you can see the implementation approach is to create the navigation component with a logo, menu item, as well as an auth button, build a hero section, you have add job categories, as well as adding testimonials and a footer. And this is just a preview of what it has been able to accomplish so far. If you click on the preview tab, you can see all the pages that it will code out. And I'm truly astonished to see such a great uh, generation that it was able to output. You have a fully functional web page with different uh, categories in which you can search jobs for. You have the testimonial as well as the bottom footer. So this is definitely a great first iteration. And obviously you can go back and ask it to improve forward, but we're going to go ahead and now work on the next step, which is to go ahead and implement the Firebase authentication. So the first task is now done. So we're going to then move off into the next step. What's cool is that the agent will now help me set up the Firebase authentication and we're going to go ahead and set this up now. So there is a button for you to add it. So you can simply go ahead and click on add. You can go over to the Firebase console and this is where it's going to give you the right steps in the Firebase console to easily set this up. So after providing the necessary details from Firebase, you can then go ahead and click on add connection and then it's going to go ahead and configure all the pages and APIs for you. So you don't even need to do anything. You don't even need to set up anything. It does it all uh, autonomously for you, which is just insane. And looks like we have now set up an authentication with Firebase. So we can click on done and it has now installed the Firebase extension and it's going to go ahead and set up everything for us. So after I had connected Firebase to uh, data button, it has now worked on different profile types where it's going to focus on a role specific field for freelancers as well as businesses. And to take a look at what I had done for this, if you go over to the preview tab and click on open preview, you can go over to the login page. And this is where you can now sign in with a Google account and sign up as someone who, who works as a freelancer and then someone who is looking to hire and then sign in with Google. And then it will prompt open Google to set the, the login. And that's essentially how uh, data button was capable of setting up the authentication system with different profiles so now that the google authentication system with the login and sign up is set with different profiles it's going to go ahead and tackle three four and five which is to create the functionality of the app where you can create freelance profiles and a portfolio system develop job browsing as well as a search functionality and so much more so now that it has focused on creating the browse job feature where you can manage different jobs, there are published jobs that you can go ahead and close or you can publish a draft job such as the UX designer and you, you can go ahead and also create a new job and you can get a preview of this and essentially this is how the job card would look. So let me give you a preview of what has happened so far. We have been able to develop the browse job feature as well as the post a job feature. So if you have to click on this, you can see there's different categories of different jobs that you can search towards. You have a search tab over here where you can search up something like UX designer. You can also go ahead and post a job. This is where you can go ahead and create a new job and you just need to simply go ahead and fill out this new job application and then you can have a preview afterwards for this job title and that's essentially a gist of what has happened so far so it looks like this full stack application is fully complete it has finished all the tasks where it has even developed a messaging system and now we have the ability to even access our own account like we saw previously but everything is fully complete obviously you can add a placeholder and add and browse through different catalogs over here but essentially the main functionality of this application is fully functional where we can go ahead and add in different sorts of jobs over here and if we want to categorize for development you can then go ahead and find a job that works best for you and essentially this ui works you can then chat along with the different uh, businesses or clients that you are working with within the application tab and if you are to actually go back to the home tab you can click on the next tab which will allow you to create a new job you can go ahead and specify the different requirements and then you can create the job and then this is a preview of what has been created 
And essentially, now that we have our full stack application created, what you can do is click on this deploy button and then you can go ahead and give it a name. And then you can now deploy this application so that anyone can now access it based off the link that you have provided. You can also go ahead and connect it to another domain so that you can have a specific domain to access your web app that was created by data button if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more and you saw how easy it was for me to create the application. That's essentially how you can easily build any sort of full stack application based off the prompts that you give it. This is the world's first reasoning AI developer, and it's something that you should definitely take a look at because the quality of output is truly remarkable. So I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon, subscribe to our newsletter, as well as follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel and turning on your, your notification bells make sure you take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and you found this to be helpful i'll definitely see you guys fairly soon so with that thought guys peace out and i'll see you uh really really soon